All right, well, I'm still working on two different projects at one time. I've got Dr. Stifler's SEC, and I've also got the uh, Snake Egg uh, Bedini going on here, the one magnet, no bearing Johnny Darvo, Davro. And uh, I did a little work on his circuit today. I, I just changed it over uh, to this uh, little uh, MP6, MPS A06 transistor. And I uh, changed the diodes, all of them, to these little uh, 1N914 type diodes that I'm using over here in the, the uh, Dr. Stifler experiment. So they're using the same components. And I'm just running this on uh, these AA batteries. And it ran quite nicely for two days. I just swapped them every 12 hours. Um, on the third winding on my coil, I went into a bridge rectifier and right back into the source. And that was the darndest thing. I, I, you're not supposed to be able to do that on Bedini's at all, but sure enough, it worked. You can also go into the charge battery, too, with it. And also, I found out that on this coil that uh, is in the trigger circuit, uh, you can come off of that with a diode, and you can pick up back EMF off that. The back spike flyback voltage comes off that guy, too. So there's all kinds of things going on here. But over here, um, this is what's interesting here. I've got just an aluminum foil antenna, basically, to collect the uh, energy coming off that, the broadcasted stuff. And uh, over here, I've got the uh, LEDs on. And uh, I've got it into the ground wire down there in the, in the ground. It goes outside into a stake. also found out you can just hook it onto a piece of aluminum foil as a ground plate, too. But it works better going into the earth. But I'm going to show the... Uh, voltage on this capacitor after I uh, unload it here. If you can see that. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to unground the capacitor. That's a 50 farad, 2200 um, microfarad cap. And watch this. And you probably count the seconds and then figure out the amount of energy going into that capacitor um, from a distance. And you can see that this this is this is projecting energy, folks. I've got energy coming over here, and this will go right on up. This is pumping that capacitor full of energy, and uh, I was rather surprised. Now, what's interesting the way I'm doing this though is as that pumps energy into there, it's taking energy out of the LEDs, of course. So that's one thing that's happening right there is it's um, it's going into the capacitor, but it's taking energy out of the light. So. But that just goes right on up. I had this up to about 6 volts a little while ago. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to folks that, that this was the latest thing I was trying with uh, energy uh, projection at a distance with just a piece of aluminum foil. And this, I'm pretty sure this is induction, what's going on here. And I re, uh, re watched some of Dr. Stifler's uh, videos and he described it the same way. There's RF going on here too and capacitance, but I'm pretty sure this is just induction is what I have going on here. And there's uh, there's three and a half volts. That's not bad. Three and a quarter. I'll ground this thing back out. Watch the lights come back on when I ground the cap out. They go the lights back up. So yeah, this is uh, this is very interesting. What's going on here with uh, Dr. Stifler's SEC? And I've got nice bright light. Um, I'm coming off of a wall outlet. Our wall uh, adapter for the source, it's about 21 volts, uh, 500 milliamp wall outlet. See the battery's not even connected to this thing right here. This is the, the wall outlet. And I've got a real bright uh, neon and a real bright fluorescent going on here. So it's getting there, slow but sure.